Yeah, you, as everyone knows, we have some problems in uh, in our strikers' position due to uh, suspension and, and injuries. So we had to to think how to solve that problem, and we thought to do it with uh, Hazard. He done it. He's done it before, and he is capable to do so because he's uh, a very versatile player. And uh, that's how we dealt with this uh, this uh, situation. Yes. And I'm pleased, of course, we uh, we had some two open options in the second half with Matic. But on the other hand, uh, Manu was pressing, but although not uh, creating a lot of chances. And I think the two to do best chances were on distance from uh, and saved by our the, the both goalies, which was tremendous saved by uh, by De Gea and Courtois. No win, yeah, yeah, but we have to 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 uh, look and consider the situation where Chelsea was or is, and uh, now uh, I'm here now in th uh, with Chelsea in three three games, and what is important that uh, the the boys they experienced a very bad half year, and they have to uh, to lift to lift it up, and that's what we talked about inside inside the. The locker room about the situation, and uh, I must say that uh, starting with Sunderland and the, after that uh, Watford, and now uh, the team knows what to do. Especially tactically, it was okay. Defensively, well or in, well organized. We didn't have the full full power to uh, to hurt. But I think what is important now that, uh, that everyone is is convinced to to give his best. For the team, and uh, that's what I what I like to see. The I think it's normal to see the uh, the character of the player, the desire. But they showed a lot of ambition in the last three games. That's what we are asking. And then automatically, when everyone is on board, hopefully, then we can use the quality of the players as well.